Hi, everybody. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, guys. Welcome. Welcome to basic three or beginning three. Um, how are you guys? How are you? Are you okay? Amazing. What about the rest? How are you guys? I'm fine. Okay. Good, good. Amazing. All right. We're going to start with the class. I'm sorry for, for being late. And I will say this. I will say this in Spanish. Perdón por ingresar a esta hora. Pero ya pues he comentado de, de mi caso a las autoridades verdad de inglés corporativo que les, les comento a ustedes también para que estén al tanto de por qué ingresó a esa hora ¿verdad? es porque tengo otra otra clase antes terminé las nueve entonces no puedo terminar antes no puedo terminar antes a veces me paso unos minutitos pero solo son uno dos como acabo de ingresar ahorita ¿verdad? que les voy a pedir eh, un poco de caso su tiempo verdad y paciencia y por supuesto vamos a tener siempre los 60 minutos siempre se van a cubrir, ¿ok? No se preocupen por eso. Ok. Um, welcome, everybody. My name is Hugo Vasquez, and I'm going to be working with you in this course, this module, which is basic three. I'm going to start by displaying the presentation for you. This is basic three, or the unit three. My name is Hugo Vasquez. Nice to meet you. I am in charge of the group and I will be working with you. So I will contribute in your learning process. Right? I would I, I want to ask you something. Who is here for the first time? Who is here for the first time? Who is here for the first time? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Bueno, solo un par de cositas antes de iniciar. Eh, quiero pues comentar con respecto a la, a la plataforma, ¿verdad? Mencionar todos los aspectos. Vamos a tener una pequeña pues uh, inducción ahorita. Pequeñita. Solo quiero pues uh, comentarles acerca de cómo vamos a estar trabajando. Permítanme hacer esta revisión al chat. Eh, Verónica, can you hear me? Verónica. Me comenta que tenía problemas, Verónica. Perdón, eh, Verónica. ¿Está todo bien ahorita? Ok. Voy a estar pendiente. Tenemos tal vez acá. Recuerden que. Acá, en ese programa, nos basamos en la plataforma. ¿Eh? Eh, en ese programa es, es un poco diferente en cuanto a... Siempre nos basamos en la plataforma, pero si ustedes pues, me hacen la consulta más adelante eh, en cuanto a manual, para ese programa no, no, nos utiliz no utilizamos manual. No nos basamos en el manual, nos basamos en la plataforma. La plataforma. Todos conocemos cómo trabaja la plataforma, ¿verdad? Si alguien eh, acá está por primera vez, hice la pregunta hace un momento, probablemente alguien no me escuchó. Eh, repito, si alguien está por primera vez acá, me comenta. Y bienvenido, ¿verdad? bienvenido a, a los programas de inglés corporativo. Eh, este es básico 3, es 3. Y la plataforma, ustedes ingresan, ¿verdad? La plataforma tiene su usuario que les he compartido esa información. Por cierto, antes de continuar, quiero compartir acá en el chat, que está de Zoom, quisiera saber si todos están en el grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Sí? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, teacher. Voy a, voy a compartir igual, thank you. Voy a compartir igual el link en el chat, por si alguien no se ha unido. Recuerden que se les comparte ese link en el chat. Y, oh, ok, Walter es nuevo, es nuevo en el programa. Así es que 
voy a explicar un poquito acerca de la plataforma, no se preocupen. Bueno, voy a compartir en el chat ahorita el link. Ese link es para los que no se han unido al grupo WhatsApp. Por favor, les pido que hagamos clic en ese link y nos unamos al grupo WhatsApp. Ya lo hemos hecho. Si todos están, perfecto. Ahora bien, voy a explicar un poco acerca de la plataforma. Recuerden, les decía, el programa es, o el módulo es básico 3. Nos enfocamos en la plataforma. Esto va a ser nuestro manual, esto va a ser nuestro, nuestra guía, nuestro libro, como le queramos llamar. Y acá nos vamos a estar siempre pasando, vamos a estar trabajando acá, todo. Y recuerden que la plataforma contiene cinco secciones. Y la duración de todo el curso, de todo el módulo, son 16 clases. Vamos de, por lo general, es de lunes a jueves. Solo son cuatro días de la semana, de lunes a jueves. Pero hoy, como iniciamos miércoles, vamos a ir de miércoles a martes. Miércoles a martes vamos a completar una semana. La próxima semana completaríamos semana uno, ¿verdad? Y así vamos a ir hasta finalizar. Son 16 clases, cuatro semanas. Cuatro semanas, en esas cuatro semanas debemos completar toda la plataforma. Y obtener el 80% de toda, ese, de toda esa plataforma o de, de la nota. ¿Ok? En este caso, la nota se debe tener. Y debe de ser más del 80%. Sé que lo vamos a lograr. Más del 80%. Y si ustedes tienen menos del 80%, por supuesto, recuerden que pues, no van a tener el beneficio, en este caso, de los módulos. Poder estar acá. Y que seamos cuidadosos, mantengamos ese porcentaje en cuanto a la plataforma. De la misma forma, pues mantener el porcentaje de asistencia. Debemos estar siempre presentes en las clases, en las de clases, a la hora que se nos hará, pues, en este caso, programado. Repito, yo voy a estar empezando un poquito, unos minutillos después de las nueve, de las nueve, perdón, por los que les comentaba. Estoy en, otro, en otra clase antes de la de nosotros. Entonces, que por eso es que ingreses ahora. No me voy a creer que ingreso tarde a las clases. Me gusta ser puntual siempre, pero repito, es por eso. Um, son 16 clases y debemos ir completando sección tras sección. Ustedes acá van a ver este diferente. Esa es la sección 1, ¿ok? Ustedes ven esto cuando ingresan a la plataforma. Ustedes observan esto. De acá. Ingres principal de módulo 3. Y recuerden, acá están las tres secciones. Sección 1, sección 2, sección 3, sección 4 y sección 5. Queremos eh, que se nos visualice, así como se lo estaba mostrando, ustedes dan clic acá, si les visualizar como lo tenía hace un momento. Ahí es donde ustedes van a ir viendo cada sección. En cada sección tenemos subsecciones. Estamos de la 1.0, 1.1, hasta finalizar en la 1.16, en la primera sección. Vamos uno por uno, vamos acá dando clic. Como observan, tenemos unos libros, tenemos un icono de multimedia, tenemos un icono de mapis, etc. Es porque ahí tenemos los ejercicios. Vamos uno por uno. Acá estoy en el primer, seleccionado la primera. Acá tenemos los objetivos de la primera, en este caso, clase. Luego tenemos un video informativo acerca de lo que vamos a ver ahora, por ejemplo. Luego tenemos otros objetivos con respecto a, al siguiente contenido. Sería este. Y luego tenemos los primeros ejercicios. Eso es lo que vamos a ir completando. Acá quiero ser... Bueno, quiero informarles acerca de eso. Recuerden que ustedes pueden ir adelantando la, la plataforma. Eh, si ustedes deciden ir eh, pues al ritmo en el que vamos, es decir, eh, clase tras clase, etcétera, etcétera, ustedes pueden ir al día, ¿ok? Completar, por ejemplo, lo de ahora y listo. Pero no tienen restricciones, ustedes pueden ir avanzando, avanzando la plataforma, es decir, por ejemplo, Probablemente alguien la próxima semana ya haya avanzado hasta la sección 2 y no hay ningún problema. Ustedes pueden ir avanzando, no tienen restricciones. La idea es, el propósito es practicar mucho y completar la plataforma, toda la plataforma y tener ese 80%. ¿Okay? 
Ahora bien, con los ciclos y ejercicios, ese es el primer ejercicio. Como observan, tenemos opciones múltiples. Son solo cuatro ejercicios, pero hay que escuchar un audio. Con base en el audio, vamos a contestar cada uno de los ítems. Y al final, si damos a enviar, si obtenemos una respuesta mala, por ejemplo, ustedes pueden volver a repetir. Pueden hacer los intentos que ustedes deseen hasta obtener las respuestas correctas. Y por el propósito es que ustedes practiquen y puedan obtener sus respuestas correctas. En caso tengan alguna dificultad con algún ejercicio y ustedes han intentado de varias formas su respuesta y no les no obtienen la respuesta correcta, por ejemplo, ustedes pueden notificarme, ya sea por WhatsApp, en el grupo WhatsApp, ustedes me dicen, mire, eh, Ticho, tengo un problema con un ejercicio. Desde la sección, eso sí, les pido que seamos específicos. Desde la sección 1.4, por ejemplo. Ustedes me, me informan y yo voy a revisar, ¿qué? ¿okay? Ayudar. O incluso acá en las clases. Cada las clases que tengamos, eh, soy el facilitador a cargo. Y yo les voy a facilitar, el, en este caso, los contenidos. Y todo lo que veamos es para ese curso, ¿okay? Para ese módulo. Así que ustedes pueden ir avanzando en la plataforma. No hay ningún problema. Si está, se van a la sección 2, por ejemplo, y no hemos llegado a la sección 2, no hay ningún problema. Así es como funciona la plataforma. Y algo que quiero mencionar. Hacemos un meter exam. Hacemos un final exam. El meter exam es el que hacemos a mitad del módulo. Es decir, en la segunda semana. Al finalizar la segunda semana, antes de finalizar pues, la segunda semana, hacemos este meter. Este es un examen que nos incluye las tres primeras secciones. 1, 2 y 3. El final exam, este final exam es en, es en la última semana, en la semana 4. Y este, pues, nos incluye todo. Sección 1, sección 2, sección 3, sección 4. Y 5. Es que ese es el último que hacemos. Estos exámenes te hacen antes, eh, por ejemplo, como vamos a terminar martes de la semana, eh, probablemente el, el, el mitre exam, el lunes, prácticamente, antes de terminar la semana 2, el lunes yo les voy a estar explicando ese examen, no sé si el martes lo van a hacer. Para el final exam, el último examen, ese sí lo hacemos antes. Probablemente un jueves, yo les estoy explicando el, el final exam, y ustedes deben de terminarlo el lunes. Lunes. Tiene que estar completo antes, antes de finalizar. ¿Ok? No sé si hay dudas acá. Creo que todos estamos familiarizados con la plataforma, pero eh, debíamos explicar un poco, ya que a veces hay preguntas nuevos. Entonces, en el caso de los participantes nuevos, ¿hay dudas o preguntas? Bueno, los bueno. demás pueden hacer sus consultas. ¿Qué usan? ¿Todo claro? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Ok. Yes, teacher. Voy a estar muy bien. ¿Perdón? Si alguien... ¿Alguna pregunta? No. Voy a estar pasando lista también. Me gusta llevar un control. Es que ese día, por ser el primero... Yo soy, voy a tomar ahorita unas capturas. Eh, pero a partir de mañana voy a tratar la manera de pasar un lista. Un poco. Para llevar un control también, ¿verdad? Porque hay que llevarlo. Porque, porque hay dudas por un momento. ¿No? Ok, we're going to start. Well, let's begin. Uh, welcome everybody. This is module three, basic three. Uh, today is the first class. Today is Wednesday, July 14th. My name is Hugo Vasquez and I'm going to be working with you. Whenever you have any questions, you need some help, just let me know and I can give you a hand. Right? That is my pleasure. Nice to meet you again. Thank you for joining the first class. And today's topic is months and days. Okay? 
si creen que voy muy rápido, me avisan, ¿ok? No tengan pena. Tengan pena, me dicen y yo disminuyo un poquito, ¿ok? O explico en caso no comprendamos algo. ¿Ok? The base topic is months and dates. Months and dates. Very good. Moving on. This begin. Let's go first with months of the year. How many months of the year do we have, guys? How many days of the months of the year, sorry, do we have? How many? ¿Cuántos meses tenemos? 12. 12. Yeah. 12. 12. Very good, 12. Amazing. Let's begin with the months of the year. Months of the year. Okay? Listen to me. Listen, listen first. Let's go. First, January. January. February. January. March. 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 April. 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 May. 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 June. 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 July. 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 August. 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 September. 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 October. 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 November. 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 December. 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 Let's go again. Let's go again. Listen to me. But now, please, can you switch off the microphone? Podemos apagar el micrófono todos. Para que ustedes escuchen, escuchen ahorita. Escuchen y, des, y repetimos al mismo tiempo. Pero para que no haya interferencia, ustedes escuchen ahorita. Y luego, pues, claro, pueden utilizar su micrófono. No hay ningún problema. Listen. January, January, February, February, March, March, April, 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 May, May, June, June, July, July. August, August, September, September, October, October, November, November, December, December. Those are the 12 months of the year, right? 12 months of the year. The first, we begin with the months of the year. But we have some dates, dates, right? And they are different. They are different, right? Questions about the month of the year? Preguntas acá? No questions. No. Okay, no, let's go. No. Good. Let's go again with the month of the year. Listen, listen and repeat. January, February. March, March, April, April, May, May, June, June, July, July, August, August, September, September, October, October. November, November, December, December. Okay, now let's recognize some dates or as we know them, ordinal numbers. We have some dates, dates, right? When we're giving days, we use ordinal numbers. Ordinal numbers. We want to, we want to, we want to uh, say or we want to tell dates, right? For example, when you say your birthday, you give dates. For example, my birthday is on October, say, 15th. 
my birthday is on October 15th. Okay? Listen, we're going to start with the days for the numbers because they are pronounced differently. Esos números ordinales son diferentes. Son pronunciados diferentes también. Because we don't say my birthday, let's say for example, like this. My birthday is in October 1st. First, we don't say my birthday is in October 1. Okay, we don't say one. Say first. My birthday is in October 1st. Because of that. So these are the ordinal numbers. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth. 19th, 20th, 21st, we we'll say 21, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, 32nd, 33rd, 34th, 35th, 36th, 37th, 38th, 39th, 40th, 40th. Okay? The pronunciation is different. Okay? For example, when, when you have th, th at the end, like this, the fifth, we don't say phi, we don't say phi, because if you say phi, this is a cardinal number, phi, a cardinal number. You want to say an ordinal number, you want to say a date, so you use an ordinal number, ordinal number, and you say, Fifth, fifth, fifth. Listen, look at me, look at my mouth. As you can see, I put my tongue between my teeth. Para, eso, para la pronunciación de esos números ordinales, en inglés, lo que hacemos es que ya se observan, todos vean, me miran, eh, observen mi, mi boca, ¿verdad? Y... Mi lengua está entre, entre mis dientes, ¿ok? Entonces la pronunciación es diferente cuando tenemos un TH sound. Lo que say fifth, 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 fifth. So we don't say five, ¿ok? We say fifth. It's the same with the other ones. For example, when you have um, a 12, what we say? 12, 12, 12. Okay, so you make this sound. 12, 12, 12. All right? That's the way we pronounce the ordinal numbers. Okay? Again, when you say your birthday, you say a date. Cuando mencionamos nuestro cumpleaños, decimos una, una fecha, ¿verdad? Right? My birthday is on October 1st. We don't say one. We don't say one because that is not a date. We we'll say first. In English, it's like this. That's why when we see the numbers, we can see those little, those little letters, right? Those, those letters. For example, in, in the first, number one, sorry, we have ST. ST. Because this is another number. So we say first. When we have this ending. All right, uh, let me see. Hey, man, yeah, you have a question, I think. Teacher. Yep. Nice to meet you. How nice do to you meet say, you. How do you say 100 in, num in ordinal number? Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, you said in this case, uh, one, I'm sorry. You say, um, let me see, the way you say it, uh, you say, I've forgotten. Mm. 
Let me look for it. Let me look for it. I have forgotten this number. Um, see? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, you look, as you can see, 100, right? It finishes with the H. So it's the same. What we do is that we include just the H at the end, right? So we say 100. 100. Okay, it's the same. The teacher, Prince. You're welcome. You're welcome. So we use the H at the end. The H. Okay, that's the way we say it. Any questions about the other numbers? Tell me. You can ask me your questions. Do you want this? No, teacher. Listen again to this part. Listen again to this part. Let's go again with the numbers. Listen and repeat. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, and we have Therese. Therese. And we continue again, right? It's hard. We say 31st, 32nd, 33rd, 33rd, continue with 34th, 34th, 35th, 35th, sorry, 35th, 35th, etc. We continue the same, 36th, 37th, 38th, 39th, 40th, 40th, 41st, 42nd, 43rd, 44th, etc., etc. Okay? This is a way we express months of the year and days. And of course, we combine them because we give a special dates, right? Like your birthdays. My birthday is on October 1st. October 1. My birthday is on October 1st. This is a special day, right? That's what we mention. We say dates, dates. Okay. Any questions right here? Don't the second. Hmm. No. No teacher. Thank you. No, no teacher. Okay. Now, let's start talking about special dates. And of course, we use month of the year and we use dates. Okay, let's talk about holidays. Vamos a empezar a hablar de algunas celebraciones, ¿verdad? Holidays. Okay, moving on. For example, when is your birthday? When is your birthday? My birthday is on October 15th. Right? So I'm mentioning or I'm expressing the month in the date, October 15th. That's why, that's why when you're giving the date, as I said at the beginning, Wednesday, July 14th. 
You can see we use this form for teens. In English, it's different, okay? Because we say first the month, then the date, and at the end we say the, the year. This is the format that English follows. First the month, then the date, and at the end we have the year. So in Spanish, we know that first we have the date, then the month, and at the end we have the year. Esta es la forma como nosotros decimos las fechas. Diferente en inglés y en español. En, en inglés iniciamos con el mes. Los, el, el, la fecha y el año. En español es diferente. Primero la fecha, luego el mes y el, el, el año. Siempre iniciamos con el día, en este caso en inglés y en español. Eh, Wednesday o miércoles, right? So that's the way. So that's why here we use... July 14th, 2021, okay? When is your birthday? My birthday is on October 15th. If I ask you guys, let me see, I'm going to listen to some participants. Um, Ruth Milagro, when is your birthday, Ruth Milagro? When is your birthday, Ruth Milagro? Um, thirteen, thirteen August. Okay, repeat it for me. Uh, good. My birthday. Repeat. Repeat that for me. My birthday. My birthday is is on August. Um, August. August thirteenth. 13th. 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 Okay. Yeah. Very good. Ruth, thank you so much. Jaime, when is your birthday, Jaime? When is your birthday, Jaime? Jaime Humberto? Microphone of Jaime. Oh, then microphone of Jaime. Jaime? Jaime, can you hear me? Teacher, you hear me? Yeah, no, yes. When is your birthday, Jaime? So, sorry, I knew, teacher. My okay. birthday is on March 17th. All right. Amazing. Thank you, Jaime. Daniel, when is your birthday, Daniel? My birthday is on October 25th. 25th. All right. Thank you. Edith, Janet, when is your birthday? My birthday is on January 12th. 20th. Okay. Very 12. good. Very good. I'm sorry? 12th. 12th. Oh, 12th. Okay, 12th. Very good. Mm. Sorry. Thank you so much. Jose Bismarck, when is your birthday? Hello, good day, teacher. My Hello. birthday is on January 24th. 24th. Good. Amazing. Thank you. Erika, when is your birthday, Erika? Yesenia, Erika, Yesenia? My birthday is on October 20th. 20th, okay, amazing. Um, let me see, Victor, Victor. Victor Adonai, when is your birthday, Victor? My birthday is on December 24th. 24th. Oh, really? Wow. So that's a special day on December 24th. Amazing. Thank you, Victor. Erika Marisol, when is your birthday, Erika? My birthday is on July 19th. 19th. Oh, almost. We're missing just five days, Erika. Yeah. Wow. So you, do you have plans for that day? Um, that day? Pues, aún no sé. Yeah. <laughs> Pienso que okay. surprise. Yeah, it's a surprise. Very good. Thank you, Erika. You're um, welcome, teacher. Good. Gerardo Chinchilla, what is your birthday? 
my birthday is on April 20, 21st. 21st, yeah. Amazing. Thank you. Jocelyn Bonilla, what is your birthday? My birthday is on July. Yeah. On July? 22nd. 22nd, okay. Almost, almost. Okay, Jocelyn, very good. How's your birthday? Thank you. Uh, Jenny Sarai, when is your birthday, Jenny Sarai? My brother is March 14th. It's on March? 14th. 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 All right. Alexis Flores, when is your birthday? My birthday is in July 14th. Oh, today? Really? Yes. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Alexis. Thanks. Congratulations. I hope you, you could have a great time. Pero he tenido un buen momento, okay? Con su familia. Congratulations. Good weekend. Yeah, well, say happy birthday to, to Alexis, guys. Today is his, his birthday. Happy birthday, Alexis. Congratulations, mate. Yeah, very good. Thank you. That's Happy amazing. birthday, Alexis. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Jancy Castillo, when is your birthday, Jancy? Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Nice to meet you. My birthday is on May 20, 26. 26, very good. It's better for me, Jancy. My birthday. My birthday. Yes. My birthday. 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 Okay, very good. Thank you, Jancy. Appreciate. All right, listen, that is a special day. That is one of the special days that we, we can use, right? When we are giving dates. Let me give you another special day in our country. Listen. We have a special day, listen to the following structure. We have a special day, then we have the verb be, on, as a month, and the date. So we can locate, we can recognize those parts, right? In this example. My birthday, my birthday is a special day. The verb be is, is, that is a verb be, verb be on, the preposition on, then the month, the month is October, and the day is 15, okay? My birthday is on October 15. My birthday, I repeat, my birthday is a special day, special day, is, is the verb be, on is the preposition, right? Preposition on, then we have the month, October, in the date, in That's the way we structure those special days. And we express dates and we use months of the year, right? Very good. Any questions here? You want to say that? Cuando se habla, perdón. Ah, una pregunta. Tell me, tell me, no problem. Cuando se habla si yo quiero decir el cumpleaños de algún grupo de alguien, de, de ella, de él. Yes, very good. Uh, do you have, well, I would say your mother, okay, your mother. But want to say your mother's birthday, you say in that way, my mother's birthday, my mother's birthday is on November, 16th. So you use possessives. My mother's my mother's birthday is on November 16th. If you want to mention just names, you can say uh, Davis birthday is on September 1st. This is the way we express someone's birthday or people's birthdays. 
previous processes. Okay. Is it clear? Yep. Any preguntas? Eh, ¿Cómo vamos ahorita? Voy muy rápido. Hago la pregunta en general. Tengamos pena. Es ok, es ok. ¿Qué me dicen? Right. Ok. ¿Quieren que voy muy rápido? Me dicen, ¿ok? Tengan pena. Teacher. ¿Ya? Yeah. Y también se podría decir her birthday o his yes. birthday. Yes. Yes. You can say her birthday or you can say his birthday. Y en, en ese caso lo podemos decir we can say this ways or we can we can use this form sorry if we know the person for example imagine that we're having a conversation okay having a conversation and we're talking about my sister okay so you ask me about my sister's my sister's birthday so i tell you her birthday is her birthday is on uh, july 15. So we know that we're talking about my sister. So that's why I prefer using her birthday. Her birthday. I know that I'm talking about my sister. And you know too, because we're having the conversation, right? En este caso, pues lo podemos utilizar, claro que sí. Y pues siempre y cuando en la conversación, pues sepamos que eh, de quién estamos hablando. En este caso, si estamos hablando de mi hermana, lo utilizamos. Porque usted sabe que estamos hablando de ella. Yo me preguntó acerca de su cumpleaños y yo le digo, her birthday is on July 16th. Ok. Ok, ok. Yes. Ok, let's go with more special dates. Remember, don't forget the structure. Special day plus verb be, am, um, or is. That is a verb be, remember. Verb be, um, or is. That is a verb be. Special day plus verb be plus on plus month date. What about if I ask you guys, listen to my question, guys. When is Independence Day in our country? Let's locate the structure, right? Special day, verb be on, month, and date. When is Independence Day in our country? Independence Day? Independence Day, Day is, is on, on September, September 15th. Amazing. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. No, Jaime, no, no hay problema. It's okay, it's okay. No problem. No se preocupen. Eh, escuchamos a ambos, okay? No se preocupen. Los que participaron, okay? Independence Day is on September 15th. Independence Day is on September 15th. Let's analyze the sentence. The answer. Special day, Independence Day. Verb B is. Preposition on. Month, September. And the date is 15th. That's the way we report those special days, right? When is Independence Day in our country? Independence uh, Day, I'm sorry? The Independence no llevaría apóstrofe. Uh, no, no, it's like that. Yeah, Independence Day is on September 15. Okay, what about if I ask you guys about, I change the question. When is Independence Day in the United States? When is Independence Day in the United States? Independence Day is on July 4th. Very good. Independence Day is on July 4th, but this is in the United States. You can say probably US 
Independence Day is on July 14th, if you want to be more specific. But you know, right now we know that we're talking about the United States. I ask you the question, where is Independence Day in the United States? Independence Day is on July 4th. Okay, questions right here? Pasaka, dudas, comentarios. No. Todo bien, teacher. Perfect. No, teacher. Perfect. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate. Let's go with the next part. Now we're going to practice. We're going to practice with the following exercises. Oh, oh yeah, very good. Perfect. Yes, it is. Today is doctor's day. By the way, if, if I have a doctor here, congratulations. Yeah, so we say doctor's day is on July 14. Is today. Yeah. Doctor's day is on July 14. Again, if I have a doctor or I have some doctors here, congratulations. Congratulations, this is your day. Right? But this is another one. Doctor's day is on July 14. Uh, what about if I ask you, let me give you another question. When is Mother's Day? Day in El Salvador. When is Mother's Day in El Salvador? Mother's Day. Mother's Day is in May 20. Yeah. It's on Mother's May. It's on. Yeah. It's on May. My pants. Pants. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Mother's Day is on May 10th, okay? Another one. When is, um, let me see. When is, let's say, um, teachers, teachers day. Teachers Day in our country, right? In our country. What is Teachers Day? Do you remember? Teachers Day on June 22nd. Like Here. Yeah, very good. Teachers Day is on June 22nd. Perfect. Okay, so again, special day for B on preposition on month, June, and date 22nd. Other day, special day for B, preposition on month, May, and the date to stand. Let's, let's practice now. Let's practice with some exercises. Look at the special days provided as and answer the questions with the proper information. Listen to an example. When is Valentine's Day in El Salvador? The, Valentine, the Valentine's Day is on February 14th. 14th, yes. Valentine's Day is on February 14th. Exactly. That's, I mean, that's just the day we celebrate, right? Valentine's Day. Pretty good. Now, I need you to construct, guys, some questions in your notebooks. I need you to construct just one question if you want. Please take into account the structure when is, when is, and I need you to take into account the following special dates. Okay, so look at the following examples. New Year's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas Day, 
Children's Day. I need you to choose one special day and I need you to construct a question by following the construction when. When is, and then you accompany this expression with a special day. For example, when is Father's Father's Day? And you can specify in the third one. Okay, this is what you have to do. Please construct one question in your notebooks. And then we're going to do the exercise together. You're going to select different classmates and you're going to ask the question to that person. And your classmate is going to give you the day, right? Let's go. Take your time. One question in your notebooks. Vamos a hacer una pregunta, okay? Utilizando ese estudio. Vamos a preguntar a nuestros compañeros en un par de minutos. Hey, take into account these special days. If you know another special day, yeah. Let's include it. Si tenemos otro día en mente, otro día especial, otro holiday, o celebración, lo pueden incluir. No hay ningún problema. These are just some examples of special days. Let's go. As soon as you're ready, please let me know. One question. One question in notes. Follow the example. Follow the example. Uh, when is yeah. Woman Day? Oh, okay. Woman Very, Day. Very good, Heidi. Okay, when is Women's Women's Day? Day in El Salvador. In El Salvador, very good. Okay, can you ask your question, Heidi, to another classmate? Select someone. To someone. Let's see again. Okay, permitan. Yes. Ja Jaime? Jaime. Very yes. Good. Okay, ask the question to Jaime, Heidi, please. When is? When oh, no. is? Yeah. Women's Days in El Salvador. Very good. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh. Who wants to help Jaime? Who wants to help Jaime? Uh, uh, September 21. <laughs> I don't know. September 21st. 21st. Okay. 21st. Who wants to help Jaime? When is Women's Day in La Sabo? Ruth, Elizabeth. Uh, Women's Day is on March 8th. Yeah, very good. Women's Day is on March 8th. Very good. Thank you. No worries. No worries. Thank you, Ruth Elizabeth. I appreciate. Another participant with another question. You can raise your hands if you want to participate. Or just switch on the microphone. Si queremos participar, podemos levantar nuestra mano o solamente eh, el micrófono y, y uh, I think Zulma, Zulma Yes. Okay. How do, how do you say Dia de la Cruz? Oh, okay. You can say um, Cross Day. Cross <laughs> Day, yeah. Cross Day. Cross Day is, first the question is when, right? When is Cross Day? When is cross day in El Salvador? Okay, Tuma, can you select someone? Choose a class, please. Uh, 
Teacher. Teacher. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> El día de la niña. Oh, okay. Very good. That's another question. Just give me a second. Give me a second. Uh, Sulma. Uh, Dagna. Okay, uh, Dagna. Okay, ask the, ask the question, Sulma. When, when is uh, cross hmm. day in El Salvador? Yeah. Um, a cross day, cross day is on El is in. It's on. It's on El Salvador, May 3. Okay. It's on May 3rd. Repeat again that now. First day. First day May. is on. Repeat again. Repeat the progress. First day is. Cross, cross day is, is on, on May 3rd. 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 Sure. Yes. Thank you, Dana. Pretty good. That is uh, the date. Uh, okay, who said girl? Girl's day. Can you hold el día de la niña? Me, teacher. Jancy. Okay, tell yes. me the question. Uh, when is girl's day girls in El Salvador? Okay, in El Salvador. Okay, pretty good. Okay, Jancy, select someone. Um... Uh, Maria Veronica? Maria Veronica, okay. Ask the question to Maria Veronica. Can you see? No, no sé. No sé qué día es. Oh, okay. <laughs> Who knows what, when is Girls' Day, guys? Who can help us? Can us play that? Oh. Mm. It's on October 2nd. <laughs> okay, October 2nd. <laughs> can be, okay, can be. Who knows 19. when it's... it's on October 11th. O yeah. October 19th. October 12th. It's in October 12th. Wow. Okay, let's, let's search because I listen to different dates. It's wrong. First day in El Salvador. Uh, well, we have International Girls Day. Yeah, it's on October 11th, 11th. That is the a, a day, I think so. Oh. Yes, 11th. 11th, yeah. So it's on October 11th. Very good. Somebody else? Another volunteer? Joe, when is your uh, wedding? I'm sorry? When is your wedding? Is your wedding? Wedding, no lo puedo pronunciar, la boda. When oh, is your oh, wedding? Sorry. Uh -huh. Yeah, sorry. Wedding. When is your wedding? Yeah, very good. Well, uh, here, you know, we're going to invent a day, right? Because I don't, know, I don't know if someone is going to get married. Is somebody getting married soon? alguien se va a casar Hey, this girl, this girl, this girl. <laughs> okay, Anna, select someone, please. Anna Maria. Mm. Alexis. Alexis, okay, Alexis, give us a, a date. My wedding is never. <laughs> never, okay, never. Oh, give us a give us a date. Invent a date. Invent an official. Um, July, Fe February, 20th. February thirty. <laughs> okay, <laughs> July twenty fifth. Alexi. Yes. Okay, it's almost. Are you going to invite us? Nos va a invitar. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, thank you. Um. Somebody else, I listen to somebody else. Which I think was Jaime. Jaime. Teacher. Think... Yeah. Um, Rosa Isabel. 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 Rosa Isabel.
Races day in El Salvador. Yeah. Race day is on October 12th. It's on October 12th. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Uh, somebody else? Another participant? Oh, I said I saw Maria Veronica, I think, right? El Día de los Muertos. Okay. When is when is that day in El Salvador? Can you select someone, Maria Veronica? Uh, Jaime, Humberto. Jaime, okay. When is they that sorry? When is their that day in El Salvador, Jaime? Mm, I guess that day is on October thirty first. Thirty first. I don't know. I don't know this. In, in, in my country, we have too much. November second. November second. Okay. Okay. I listen to the answer. It, let me ask you something. I mean, I have. I, I am curious. What are you from? <laughs> I from El Salvador, teacher. Ah, I'm. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't because. Let's take it from the Me mentioned okay. It, it, in my country, we have too much holiday days, teacher. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I thought you were for another country. That's why I was asking you. Perdón, pero se quiera de otro lugar. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you. Uh, somebody else, another volunteer. Another special day, Walter. Yeah. Hola. Uh, Look. Soldier Day. I'm sorry? Soldier Day. The answer that. When yeah, is Soldier? Good. When is Soldier's day? Okay, can you select someone, Walter, please? Okay, say, uh, Heidi, this person. Heidi. Yeah, Heidi. Heidi, when is Soldier's day? No, say. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to yeah, help yeah. Heidi? So, so your day is, is on no, May. May? No. May 17th. Yes. 17th? Or 7th? No, 7th. 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 Very good. Okay, let's go with one more. One more question. Another volunteer? I have a question. Yes, yeah, tell me. Thanks. I'm sorry? To all its names. When is International Men's Day? Okay, repeat again. When is International? When is International <coughs> Men's Day? Oh, okay. Men's Day. Like that? Yes. yes? Okay. Thank you, dear. Edith, select someone, please. Oh, my God. Men's Day, really? <laughs> Hi, Jose Bismar. Oh. Hi. Oh, Jose Bismar, okay, very good. Tell me, tell me. What is International Men's Day? Well, it is. International Men's Day is every day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, have, we have our special day, right? Women and men. I think, yeah, as you said, we, we have, we always celebrate, right? Special days. <laughs> okay, who knows? Saturday in the night, Saturday in the night. <laughs> oh, okay. it's International del Hombre. <laughs> yes. Well, let, let's Google, let's it Google. Is. Aquí me parece que es eh, oh, November. Oh, November. February. 19th. It's on November. February 31st. Yes. Well, it appears in the end. November 29th, I, I, I found here. November 29th, 19th, sorry, 19th. 19th. Because I say uh, every day. <laughs> okay, yeah. 
every day. Oh, and the same for women, right? So we celebrate. Very good. So International Men's Day is on November 19th. Mm -hmm. Very good job, guys. Let me see. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's time, it's time. Por lo que dije hace un momento, nos vamos a pasar unos minutillos más. Por lo, para completar que los 60 minutos. Okay, Así es que... No, vamos, no, no, no. preguntas? Any questions? Todo bien, teacher. Excellent. Okay, listen. We're going to stop right here with the class. Vamos a quedarnos hasta acá. De que es hora. Y a veces nos pasamos un poquito más. Y bueno, vamos a estar terminando eh, un poquito tarde de la pasada de las 10, por lo mismo que él decía, que vamos a estar iniciando unos minutos después de las 9. ¿Ok? Así es que para completar siempre los 60 minutos. ¿Ok? Eh, ¿Any questions? Go? No olvidemos. Remember the list, teacher. No question. Yes. No. yes. Voy a estar con la lista. No se preocupen, yo estoy acá revisando. Solo lo último que quiero hacer énfasis es en la plataforma. Y podemos empezar desde ahora a avanzar en lo, todo lo que, en este caso, si ustedes quieren avanzar mucho más, sientan que libre de ser, ¿ok? No tienen ninguna restricción. Eso sí, si necesitan ayuda o alguna, un ejercicio les está dando algún problema, ustedes solo me notifican por WhatsApp, por WhatsApp. Ahí se me contacto igual si quieren contactarme de forma personal. Eh, o lo pueden hacer directamente en el grupo, no hay ningún problema. ¿okay? Sí. Estamos a la orden. Igual, si algún ejercicio les está dando problema, ustedes pueden hacer la consulta acá siempre en clase. Y podemos ver el ejercicio todo. Probablemente eh, la mayoría tenga problemas con algún ejercicio, entonces lo podemos ver acá en clase. Para eso son las clases, para poder aclarar dudas y obviamente aprender muchas cosas. Es que. It has been a pleasure to be with you guys in this first class. We're going to continue with the, with the next class, tomorrow in this case. Uh, remember that tomorrow we're going to finish, I would say, with the week, right? We're going to lunes a jueves, la clase. Los viernes son libres. Es que, igual, les decía, de miércoles a martes vamos a ir con las semana, ¿ok? Ya pasé lista, no se preocupen. Eh, un problema es que pues we're going to finish right here guys I want to wish you a good night blessings yeah. to you and your families stay safe please I'll see you tomorrow bye bye thank you thank you goodbye. 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 goodbye thank you goodbye